Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Adaloops. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about the plotter that I built myself over the past like year or so. Um, I just wanna go over how I did it, what I used, the software that I use, you know, just help you do it yourself if that's what you're looking for. So I wanna talk about the parts that I used first. So. Of course, these are just the NEMA 17 stepper motors, uh, as well as I have uh, the NEMA 17 brackets as well, holding those down. Uh, these rails on either side, they're just linear rails. I think they're 600 millimeters long. Um, ordered those from Amazon. Uh, same with this rail. I forget how long, I think it's like 400 millimeters, but also got that one from Amazon. Um, and yeah, other than the electronics, that's basically all of the parts that I bought. Uh, everything else that goes into this is, they're all 3D printed parts, like all of the brackets on the ends, the brackets attaching to those little sleds on the uh, linear rails. Um, even the cable drag chain, I 3D printed as well. Um, I'll probably have the files for everything that I use down in the description, as well as like the, uh, you know, all of the Amazon links to everything that I bought if you want to build this exact thing yourself. Um, but I think the best way to actually do it is to just find parts that are easy for you to get, design your own things, you know, put it together. It's kind of fun as a little DIY thing to make it work, so yeah. I use to make this work is just an Arduino Uno with a little CNC shield and this old uh, like computer fan that I have just to cool it down. Um, wiring up all of the electronics is really easy. I just have this is my uh, you know power supply. I think it's like 24 volts and 5 amps is what I'm using just because I have so many stepper motors so that's why there's so much current. Um, and all you have to do is make sure that you have all of your stepper drivers uh, and these little screws on the stepper drivers as well. Let me see if I can zoom in on those. Those tiny screws, uh, those are like little potentiometers. It's just the amount of basically electricity that gets sent to the motors. So you can change that around. Um, and yeah, you basically, I mean, when you get one of these shields, you can just plug in the stepper motor wires and they just plug right into the stepper motors. That's really simple. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have on here. Uh, I duplicated my Y-axis one, so you can see I have down there little jumpers connecting those. And if you actually look underneath all of the stepper drivers, uh, I have three jumpers underneath all of those as well. That just allows for micro-stepping, which if you want more like accurate drawings and everything and more complicated things, I recommend doing that as well. So basically what a plotter is, is just a gantry like this, it's just a technically three axis gantry, but really it's the main part is just two axes. Um, and then you just kind of plop a pen onto the end and figure out a way to lift it up and drop it down. Uh, I use a little, uh, I use a little stepper motor for that. Now, before I made it a stepper motor, I used a servo. And you can do that as well. Uh, I know that you need to use a different version of gerbil. Uh, I can put the version of gerbil that I used in the description because I know it took me a while to find one that actually worked properly. So if that's what you're looking for, I will put that down there as well. Uh, but yeah, it's really just, it's very simple. You just have your x-axis or y-axis motor and my x-axis motor is right there. Um, I actually have two y-axis motors because this is so wide, you know, you don't need to build one this big. I think 
the max size that I've done with this is like 18 by 24. Uh, but I know it can go bigger than that, but I think that's the max like standard size of paper that you can use with this one. Uh, for the pen holder, so I 3D printed this. Basically all it is is just uh, linear bearings on there holding uh, the actual thing that holds the pen onto this bracket. Uh, my stepper motor just has a little fin on it that you can see that goes up and down and uh, lifts up uh, the pen. I have the pen held in by two screws. It's really just like friction holding it in when you make the screws tight enough, but I made it so that I can hold like basically any size of pen. I haven't found one that was too big to go in there, but there's probably some other like markers that wouldn't fit, but you know, I don't use those. Now, so here's, that's the portrait of my grandparents that I'm using or that I'm drawing right now. Uh, this is Universal G-Code Sender. Uh, this is how I send all of the G-Code to my Arduino. My Arduino is also running Gerbil. Uh, it's the latest version right now. I think that's like Gerbil 1.1H, something like that. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter what version of Gerbil you use, as long as you make sure that the settings are correct, which are really easy to change in this console down there. Um, I believe it's pretty universal through all of them. You just type uh, dollar sign, dollar sign, and all of the Drupal settings should pop up and they're really easy to change from there. Now, this is the code that I use to optimize all of the SVGs that I have and make them uh, the right page size and everything uh, for this, the plotter that I have to draw. So I use V-pipe, as you can see. Um, I highly recommend V-Pipe. It has so many options and so many things that you can do. It just makes everything so much easier. Uh, but yeah, I just have it scaling it to the right, um, the right size, simplifying the lines, merging any lines if they're right next to each other, sorting them just to make it more efficient so the pen doesn't lift up as much. Um, you know, you can set the pen width as well and then you just write it to the correct size and save it wherever you want to. I'll probably have this code in the description as well if you wanted to use it, but again, I recommend looking through the documentation for V-Pipe or whatever you end up uh, choosing and making something that works well for you. Um, so I made this into a, a shell script just so that I can run I can run this code with any file that I want. I can do it straight through the terminal. Uh, yeah, it just makes it a lot quicker. Um, I, I'll probably make a video on how to set all of that up uh, separately. This is more just about, you know, the things that I use, so. Uh, I would say the best kind of paper to use would be smooth Bristol paper. Uh, I'm, right now I'm actually using like watercolor paper, so it's textured and the pen can actually kind of get caught on that and it reduces the, you know, accuracy and detail that you can get, but it still ends up looking okay. Um, but definitely smooth Bristol is the best. And in terms of pens, these microns are 100% the best. They you know, they draw really evenly, they don't run out of ink until they're completely out of ink. You know, like, they won't just stop drawing out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, I, they're kind of expensive, but if you want to make good drawings, I recommend getting those for sure. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's basically everything. Let me know if you guys want to see uh, or know anything else about it. Um, yeah, I didn't go in depth really into anything. I just wanted to share like how I do it, how it works, the parts that I got, software I use, everything like that. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to know anything else.